Imagine you're on board an airplane. As you relax and look out the window, your gaze suddenly sees something that clearly stands out from the natural landscape. A gigantic abyss that eats down hundreds of meters. But what could this awe-inspiring structure be? A huge bomb crater? The gateway to hell? Or is it an entrance to a hidden world that we would never have dared to dream of? If you want to know what these gaping scars of the Earth are really all about, then sit back, give us a like and subscribe, and be sure to watch our video to the end. The Hole in the Ground It's November 25, 1961, when experienced jungle pilot Harry Gibson climbs into the cockpit of his small, single-engine aircraft, as he so often does. Once Harry has risen into the air, he was once again able to witness an overwhelming sight. Beneath his feet stretched a sea of treetops from the Venezuelan jungle. Little did he know, as the pilot flew over the Seri Seri Nyama region, that this flight would change his life forever. The area in question was still largely unexplored at the time, and only very few experts dared to go into the dangerous jungle themselves. In view of the sparse facts, the most adventurous stories about the mystical jungle soon emerged. Again and again, there was talk of wild creatures roaming around in the dense undergrowth. Whether Harry was thinking of exciting legends at the time is uncertain, but as he approached the heart of the jungle, an unusual detail suddenly caught his eye. Where the forest should actually be more densely overgrown, there were enormous bare spots. Instead of mighty trees and exotic plants, the man in the cockpit only saw a huge pit. Harry was completely perplexed at this. No one had ever mentioned that the area was adorned with such a massive hole. In fact, the pilot found this discovery so unreal that in the evening, he wondered if the abyss was just an optical illusion after all. From then on, he couldn't stop thinking about what he had seen from his plane, so he decided to return to this surreal place. An exciting search for clues an ambitious plan, but unfortunately doomed to fail from the start. Although Harry thought back and forth how he could land his plane near the dip, in view of the dense vegetation, this was simply impossible. So it was that the hole in the ground remained unexplored for years. Some mysterious legends soon grew out of Harry's reports, but unfortunately, nobody had the courage or the necessary means to carry out a direct research mission. It wasn't until 1974, 13 years after the pilot's discovery, that a helicopter team managed to land on a mountain near the hole. Although the term the hole is not quite correct, the men recognize that the jungle is not just home to one, but several huge chasms. In the years that followed, several experts devoted themselves to examining the massive openings, and the Venezuelan government officially designated them as significant national landmarks. But this was less due to the bare existence of the holes, but rather to what slumbered in them. Amazing Insights So far, four of these so-called sinkholes have been found in the Sarasayanyama Tapui National Park. The deepest of these natural potholes is Sima Humboldt, a sinkhole that extends almost 315 meters into the abyss, hundreds of kilometers away from the nearest roads and towns. All sinkholes discovered so far are on the tops of extremely high and at the same time very flat mesas. And what makes these self-contained places so precious is the creatures they serve as homes. According to this, the Venezuelan sinkholes amaze us with their extremely high biodiversity. For example, the frog species Stephania rai does not occur anywhere else on Earth. It is believed that we are dealing here with so-called shaft caves, which are the result of collapses and cover a space of 18 million cubic meters, what for us represents a unique ecosystem with many endemic plant and animal species. However, causes significantly more uneasiness among the native Yakuwana Indians. According to the ancient tales of the indigenous people, a cruel spirit resides in the caves that preys on humans and screams, Sari, Sari, as it devours its victims. 
hence the official name, Sarasai Nyama Tepoi. From Caves to Antibiotics Francesco Saro sees things most of us will never see. A professional speleologist, he ventures into the most remote worlds of the Amazon rainforest and analyzes hidden areas that have remained untouched for thousands of years. The day-to-day -day work of Hossem Zawawi is completely different. As a microbiologist, he doesn't really have much to do with safety belts and hard hats. Well, usually, because recently Zawawi went together with Saro into the Tapoi Caves in the northwest of the Amazon region. Wondering what a lab scientist is doing in the middle of the jungle? Well, together with his fellow high-altitude explorers, he is there looking for isolated microorganisms that should help to declare war on antibiotic-resistant pathogens. The survival strategies of the microbes could hold the key to the next medical breakthrough. Although the various microorganisms all live together in one place, they still have to find ways and means to avoid being pushed out. It is possible that microscopic cave dwellers developed properties over time that we can one day exploit for the production of antibiotics. One of the most important methods for identifying new types of microbes or new genes is the polymerase chain reaction, or PCR for short, a term that we have all likely been familiar with since the COVID pandemic more recently. As part of this method, known genes are automatically recognized, with unknown anomalies being indicated indirectly. Even if no breakthrough has yet been achieved, the scientists remain optimistic. After all, the search for medical evidence has only just begun. Prehistoric Forest The Chinese are no strangers to the mighty sinkholes either. Here, they are called Tiankang, which means something like divine pit. A few months ago, a particularly large representative of these sinkholes was found in the Guangxi region. What is spectacular about this discovery is the fact that the bottom of the funnel-shaped depression, almost 200 meters deep, is adorned with a prehistoric forest. The facts that the abyss, which is more than 300 meters long and 150 meters wide, remained undiscovered for a long time despite its impressive dimensions is due to the densely forested surroundings. After analysis of satellite imagery suggested that the trees might be hiding an intriguing secret, a team of researchers ventured into the region to uncover the truth behind the images. Finally, on May 6, 2022, the time had come. The experts abseiled down into the pit and were able to see for themselves the wonders that our world has to offer. Even if the exploration of the sinkhole is still in full swing, the chances of encountering species here that are completely unknown to us should not be bad. Sandong Hule The story of the Sandong Cave in Vietnam shows how overwhelmingly the decoding of a hidden cave world can be. Around 450 kilometers south of Hanoi, in the middle of the jungle, the natural complex was discovered in 1991. However, it was to take another 18 years before this fascinating place was explored in detail by British researchers. In detail, the underground system consists of at least 150 caves, in which, in addition to babbling rivers and majestic lakes, even have their own jungle. And even in the case of the officially largest cave in the world, sinkholes should not be missing. Overall, the Sandong Cave has two large sinkholes that act like natural windows that flood the site with sunlight and allow plants to grow. In addition, oversized stalactites greet us here. Some stalagmites are enthroned up to 80 meters above their surroundings. The so-called karst formation is one of the oldest in Asia, with an estimated age of 400 million years. The Songdong Cave may have been formed 2 to 5 million years ago. Although we have only known of its existence for a few decades, the complex has been inhabited for untold millennia. The fossils found here, leaving over 300 million years old, leave no doubt about that. But even modern animal activity leaves us open-mouthed. The breathtaking biodiversity includes over 1,300 plant species, 100 mammal species, 
60 amphibian species, 70 bird and fish species each, and 10 bat species. Some of these animals were completely unknown to us in the past. Thus, it is only since exploring Songdong Cave that we have known that such things as the gray shanked duck monkeys and the Saula antelopes exist. In fact, you don't even have to be a proven expert to be able to admire the underground complex up close. Accordingly, the cave has also been open to tourists since 2013. If you want to be one of the 700 visitors who are allowed to enter the cave each year, you have to bring two things with you, money and stamina. Accordingly, a tour costs the equivalent of 3,000 euros. Moreover, the cave can only be reached after a hike of several days through the jungle. Darren Kuyu, the chance discovery of an underground city. As early as 1933, a resident of the small Turkish town of Derin Kuyu made a discovery that is still a topic of conversation today. When a man was tearing down a wall in his basement, he happened upon the remains of an underground city. Since the discovery of the city, eight floors covering an area of around 2,500 square meters have been uncovered. The deepest point of the city, which is now open to the public, is 55 meters below the surface. Living and sleeping areas, a wine press, and even a church and a dungeon were discovered, which according to researchers, speaks for a lively social life. Scientists assume that the city discovered under Darren Kuyu was home to up to 50,000 people. The underground city was ventilated with shafts up to 85 meters long, an architectural masterpiece for the time. Turkey, death's gate causes fear and terror. Our next story takes us back to Turkey, more specifically to the Denizli site in Western Turkey. For thousands of years, the so-called Gate of Death is said to have killed all people and animals who passed through it. It was long thought that the deaths were due to poisonous gases given off by Hades, the god of the underworld himself. Therefore, it is also assumed that we could be dealing here with the Gate to the Underworld. In the meantime, however, experts from the University of Duisburg Essen have managed to solve the mystery. As detailed investigations revealed, the gate emits highly concentrated carbon dioxide through a crack in the floor, which leads to unconsciousness and then death within a very short time. Once again, a myth was disenchanted by the technical possibilities of science. The Fugen Temple, a find inspires the Buddhist world. A discovery that still inspires and keeps the Buddhist world in suspense came about by chance in the Chinese province of Sichuan. In 2016, people stumbled upon the remains of a long-lost Buddhist temple complex on the streets of Chengdu. According to scholars, the so-called Fugen Temple was built in Jin, distance between 317 and 420 AD. After finding the remains, a team of experienced archaeologists immediately set about excavating the temple. In addition to the foundations of temples and pagodas, the researchers discovered more than 100 stone tablets with Buddhist texts and another 500 stone sculptures, a rare and exciting find that gives scientists a detailed look at the development of Buddhism in China, which spread to other countries such as Japan and Vietnam in the centuries that followed. In the Middle Kingdom, however, the orientation of the religion known as Chan Buddhism now only plays a subordinate role. Jerusalem, what is this mystical palace all about? In Israel, more precisely, the city of Jerusalem, holy to Christians and Muslims alike, researchers stumbled upon the elaborate pillars of a royal palace. The capitals that form the top of the columns were discovered during another excavation on Hanatif Promenade. The resulting excavations were funded by the Israeli Ministry of Tourism, the Jerusalem Municipality, and the City of David Foundation. According to the Israeli antiquities author, the serendipitous first temple period find was built around 960 BC. Among other things, the formerly magnificent palace may have functioned as the home of two biblical kings, Hezekiah and Josiah. The site may also have been part of King Hezekiah's rebuilding efforts. 
After the Assyrian siege of Jerusalem, in 701 BC, the experts said, the palace complex was finally destroyed in 586 BC when the Babylonian Empire besieged Jerusalem and largely reduced the holy city to rubble and ashes. Scary, the gate to hell? In many cultures, belief in heaven and hell prevails. If you take a look at the Karakum Desert in Turkmenistan, you could easily be convinced that you've discovered the gateway to hell. In detail, it is about the crater of Dirwaz, in which methane has been burning for decades and provides an eerie, beautiful natural spectacle. It is still unclear how the crater was formed. Experts are convinced that while drilling for natural gas in 1971, geologists accidentally encountered an underground cavern containing the methane gas, which caused the fire. While various spiritual movements in Turkmenistan are firmly convinced that the gates of hell have opened, the government in Ashgabat is more pragmatic and announced in January 2022 that it wanted to put out the fire, a decision that President Berte Mohamedou attributes, among other things, to health risks for the population and environmental arguments. Since then, experts have been sought who can extinguish this gigantic fire. All right, folks, that's it with our detour into the mystical world of caves. Time to return to the surface. What do you think about the exciting mysteries that lie dormant beneath our feet? Have you ever visited a cave yourself? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date from now on. And with that, thanks for watching. Have a good one and see you next time.